hello and welcome to this really, really interesting new video by Flowmotion. Because today we are going to take a look at the new version and all the new features within that version. So I'm going to show you some of the smaller details and smaller improvements that they've done. And there's actually one that is a huge time saver and will be so helpful within the future. And then I'm going to focus mainly on the two big topics, which is first, the new and improved 3D space and 3D tools. And then second, and this is my favorite new feature, the Roto Brush 2 tool. So why don't you just follow me into the new version of After Effects. So here we are in the new version of After Effects. And before we even start, let me quickly tell you something. If you do have any questions about After Effects or about visual effects or the equipment I use, just leave me a comment on this video and I promise I will answer all of your comments. And now let's directly start with the first small thing that they have changed, but this is really, really a big one. To show you what I mean, let's create a red solid, hit OK, and maybe we also create a green one because we just want to mask out some stuff here. So normally I would hit G or go to the pen tool and then I would start drawing and I would spend some time to create something really awesome and then I would realize, oh man, I am on a shape layer and I have done that at least a million times where I'm rotoing out pretty precise like a person or whatnot and I'm spending like half an hour on it and on the last click I realize, oh, I have just created a shape layer. I'm pretty sure that many, many of you have done that mistake a hundred times. When I'm going on the pen tool or I'm hitting G, I see now a star icon next to the pen tool, which indicates that I'm drawing a shape now. Such a small thing, but such a big impact. So when I click on the green solid and I'm bringing out the pen tool, you see that I get this square next to it, which indicates that I'm actually on a layer at the moment. And again, if I click away and go into here, you directly see what type of mask or shape or path you are creating. But now let's switch to the big news. And therefore, maybe we start with the 3D scene. So I just open that up. And as you see, when I zoom out here, I have already created a small scene here, which has some layers, some trees and some grass layers. I have a floor and I also have a background. So the normal workflow now would be, or to even get to that point, you would have to create a camera and then you could orbit around or zoom and pan. But now by simply hitting C, which brought up the camera options before, I can now use them without actually having a camera. I have the rotation tool, hitting C again. Now I have the pan tool. And last but not least, I have the dolly tool. So this is something that comes in pretty handy because I can now really quickly create exactly the framing that I want to have. And what you also see is that those three icons are now all also found up here in your tools panel. And also you can choose between different orbit, pan and dolly tools. And this makes your life in 3D so much more fun because now you have the option, for example, if we take a look at the orbit tool, you can now orbit around your, your cursor. You can orbit around the scene or you could orbit around the camera. And this is for all of your tools. So what does that actually mean? So let me quickly choose the dolly toward cursor tool. And so when I click on the lion now, it does exactly what you expect it to do. It dollies to our lion. Perfect, so let me quickly reset that. Let's say I wanna dolly to the logo. So I click there and then I drag into, and now the camera dollies to the Jungle Book logo. And of course you can do that with every other point. Let's say you want to dolly to that tree. Well, you can. It's just that click. And you can do the same, for example, for the orbit tool. Now you can orbit around the scene or orbit around your cursor. 
So that's just so cool and so useful. And hey, I wish I would have had that like 15 years ago. But hey, wait, there's even more because now I found a nice spot for my camera, but I still don't have a camera. So wouldn't it be nice to create the camera perspective out of what I have done so far? Well, you can now just go to view and here you have different options. You could reset your 3D view, but you can also create the camera from that 3D view. So let's just do that. And now we have created a camera that sits exactly at that point that you have defined. Of course, you can still create your own camera the old fashioned way, layer new camera. You have all the same options. Hey, and when you click on this, everything looks a little bit more updated. But let's actually not have a look at this on the camera, but let's have a closer look on our lion. So now we only have our lion and as soon as we set him to a 3D layer, so I just disabled it and now I'm enabling it again, you see that I get these new 3D handles and they are super intuitive. So they do whatever you expect them to do. You can move the position and you also get indicators like how far you have dragged them. And of course this works for all positions, but you also have the rotation. So when you click on those points, you get the rotation. And of course, if you click on those squares, you can scale this up. And again, if you hold down shift while doing that, you can scale it uniformly. So a really, really creative new way on how to work with your 3D layers. So this should just make working in 3D space so much more fun, faster and so much more intuitive. Awesome. So having that said, let's switch to the most awesome part of all of this, the Roto Brush 2 tool. I've already created something here because I found that nice clip of that model walking on the beach and that would be like a really, really nice commercial shot. But obviously this is like a tourist beach and there are so, so many people on the beach. And normally the client would ask you if you could get rid of other people or maybe cut her out somehow and bring her onto a new background. And normally this is where you would say, well, that's impossible. You can't just cut her out there. Therefore you need a green screen or a blue screen, but this is just impossible. And then I saw the new Roto brush tool and what shall I say? Let me show it to you. I have found this nice beach here and I've quickly rotoed the girl. You don't believe me? This is the girl on her own. And if you take a look on the alpha channel, this actually is pretty amazing. I know what you're thinking. You can't believe it because I couldn't believe it myself. So I'm going to show you how I did that. I bring out the original clip and now let's roto her out and let's do this in real time. And therefore we need, we need to go over here to the roto brush tool and you see that we can't do nothing. And this is because the Roto brush tool only works on the footage itself and not within the composition. So simply double click on the footage. So here in the layer tool, we see that we get this pen here and you can change the size by holding down the right mouse button while also holding down control. And then you can just drag left or right and simply paint over the parts that you want to Roto. And I'm quickly doing that and I'm also telling you that I'm doing all of this in real time. So you see how fast this goes. Okay, so this has already detected a pretty nice area and while holding down Alt, I can subtract areas and let's subtract this and add this part back in. And you can really take your time with doing that. So now we have basically rotated out our first frame in like 15 seconds. And now let's just hit the space bar and you see in real time. And maybe I have to say this again, this is rotoing in real time. This is absolutely mind blowing. And as I told you, we haven't worked on the fine hair detail yet. So let's quickly wait until it has rotoed all of this. Perfect. And now you have those viewing options down here and you see that it has done a pretty accurate roto 
and think about all those possibilities. Maybe you have a really good key, but you have some holes in the body or stuff like that because your actress was wearing some shiny stuff. Hey, simply roto her out and put her in the back of your key. But let's now work on the hair detail. So therefore, I'm simply clicking on the refine edge tool and refine the edge. So I'm basically painting my way over the edge here and can you see that? I'm zooming in a little bit. This is what the tool has automatically detected. And this works because of AI, so artificial intelligence. So Adobe has created its own machine, its digital brain that knows what is hair and what not. And that machine does all the work for us. So you can still paint over the parts where you think there may be some more detail. And again, this is, this is no fake. I couldn't believe it myself. You see all the detail that you get here? Maybe also there's something. So basically what you could do is you could just paint with the refine edge tool over everything. But obviously that also takes more time to calculate. And now we're doing the same thing. We just play this back and you see what it is doing. It creates that mat for us and you also see that this just takes a little bit more time but honestly if you would have given me as much time as I wanted before to do that job I would have had no idea on how to do it honestly and once you're happy with your work I just click the freeze button and that will analyze what we have done so far and bake it into our effect and now we can also switch back to our composition and here you see with and without the Roto Brush Refine Edge tool applied. Let me quickly fill this with a color so you can really see what's going on. So and we did that and let's watch it in combination with our new background. You see for example you have a black outline here and you can still fine tweak the whole effect. For example I can feather all of this a little bit and then I just shift the edge until that black border this appears. Now let's just add some color correction that I also had on the clip I showed you before. And this is what we have created in less than five minutes. And this is already the end of this video where I wanted to show you the new features within the new version of After Effects. I really hope you learned a little bit and got excited about After Effects. Hey, and if you did, then feel free to give me a like or subscribe to my channel. And again, as I told you, if you have any question, feel free to write it down in the comments below and I will promise you will get an answer for that. And now I wish you a lot of fun with the future of After Effects.